Luna, let me show. See that? She's got some blood on her foot. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the Wild Huckleberry. Welcome back, me. I'm getting welcome back to the Wild Huckleberry because I've been gone for several days. Just, you got him? <laughs> Lee's retrieving somebody uh, so I can take a look at him. But, uh, so, here. So I didn't really get a chance to show you real great the new little boy that was born on Tuesday, the day we left. But look at him. Isn't he pretty? He's a cute little thing. I love his back legs. How? Look at how they've got the the brown on them. This this camera doesn't do him justice, really. How cute he looks. How pretty his colors are. Don't let him go yet. I want to hold him for a minute. But uh, the other two babies, there they are. They're over here playing in the in the hay older here <laughs> they're just adorable and of course Luna wants to play with them but that's not a good thing I don't think but anyway we're doing good of course I'm about out of feed because <laughs> I've been gone so I got to go get some more so the cows are over here we ran out of cattle cubes so the cows are over here in the goats feed kicking them out and I got little man down here trying to eat my fingers watch out cap what's up cap what's up Bubba oh hello big man I love this little guy he is mr. personality hi bitey all right let me hang on Han. let me get this I need to at least dump it over and get it so it doesn't just fall right out but I decided to give them one bale of this hay. Was hoping that would distract the cows. That was a fail. But anyway, we're back. We're going. Thor's happy to see us. The babies are not necessarily happy to see us yet, but that's okay. Luna was super happy to see us. She heard her name. Now I got to go collect eggs because uh, somebody didn't collect them while I was gone. He's turning his head so anyway guys i'm gonna get with it and uh i'll see you a little bit later okay time to show off the babies a little more and their extreme cuteness aren't they just so cute these are some little bitty babies here too because they came from the nigerians and this little girl She's having a good time. <laughs> she quite got full control of her legs, even though she's a she's a week old now. A little over a week old. There you go. She was jumping around there a minute ago. She's too busy scratching right now. Where'd the little ones go? They're going, yeah, they went in here. Playing King of the Mountain. to show off my babies they are so stinking cute can you tell how little that little guy is he's so much smaller than the other two they were twins he was a single and yet he's so little but he's so cute look at him he thinks he's bad <laughs> just can't help I just I could sit and watch these babies for hours they are so cute Whoop! <laughs> she fell off. All right, just wanted to show off my babies a little bit. I love them. They're so dang cute. 
Well, upon returning from the Oki Homestead Expo, I find out that my son has not been collecting eggs. So, I've got the egg carrier down here, and that's what I'm going to do this morning. I'm going to collect some eggs. I've been gone since Tuesday. How many eggs do you think we might get today? I think it's going to fill that thing up. I don't know how many will be in here. Now that I'm back, it's going to be time to clean this dude out quite nicely. With it. There's only four eggs in here. It's very possible that some could be buried underneath. The little girl that was laying out there on the ground has definitely decided to start laying in the coop now. Excuse me, Farkas. Don't knock my egg carrier off, please, sir. Thank you. All right, let me shut this back. I saw they were giving away run chicken doors at the expo, but I don't know that I need to run chicken doors much, but they had some... Good morning, Farkas. They had another brand there. Pull it shut. Pull it like a chicken pull it a female and those I really would think seriously about getting okay so now there's seven <laughs> and eleven Let's take these first to make 14. <laughs> and then three, six, seven more. So there's 21. Man, I know it's going to be a bunch this morning because the other side typically has more than this side. There's a nice pile of eggs, huh? <clears throat> well, I got one girl sitting and one that always has a lot, so we're gonna have to wait and see. Hello, love. <laughs> Is she gonna bow up at me? That's nice. All right, so that's Six more in here. This is where the my blue and green eggs get laid, huh? So that's 27. Three more in here, so that's 30. I'll set it down. And five more here, so that's 35 before I get to find out how many are under her. So I'll let you know a little later how many more we get from her, but I, I'm sure I have a few other places I might could go look and see. But uh, this one is blocking me from this one right now so i feel like there's i don't know how many under there but at least four five six seven i don't know that's that's actually the one that usually has the most in it i didn't get the chance to come out this morning <clears throat> uh, come back out i should say because it started raining but let's look at where lovey was sitting and i told you that that was probably going to be the high spot and what did i say that is their favorite spot now there was one in it that was broken, so I'll feed it to, back to them. But there was 11 in there, and then there's three over here. So let's go ahead and just check and see what our total is gonna be just for the day. We'll just make it a, a total for the day, including the days we missed. And there's three more. So we had 35, and there's 13 really 14 that they laid we will count that one at least have, having been laid so we got 17 to add to it so that's 52 for the 
gathering right now so yeah okay 52 eggs I can live with that came back to get the eggs and uh, found out that there were two hiding right here so let's make that 14 eggs in this hole I've already gotten most of them out and uh, 54 eggs for the day so uh, yeah not bad at all Alright, we got a lot of rain today, so I want to go down here and see what the creek looks like. Lee came down here with Paxton before uh, before the rain, and he said it was maybe a quarter of the way full. So, okay, and it's more than a quarter of the way full now. It is. It's full. It's not out of its banks, really. But uh, it's flowing pretty good. Let me see if I can get a close-up for you. See how much it's flowing there. It is moving right along. So, yeah, it's not... We didn't get nearly as much rain as what they, was, they talked about, three or four inches. And I'm so glad we did not get three or four inches. Instead, we got... I don't know an inch or so but it came down pretty hard for a while but it obviously wasn't as bad as the other day when it flooded so bad because we're here at the creek and if you look way back there and around you gotta go back there and around the curve and up that, there's where the water was so it's a whole lot different than it was the other day when it flooded girl so came out here to feed this evening and oh, Luna let me show see that she's got some blood on her foot looks like she poked something into her leg right there it doesn't look bad and she's not favoring it or anything but this girl runs around here with reckless abandon so am I surprised that she's in any way hurt no I mean, she runs around 
like there is nothing she could ever run into or trip on or anything she is kind of crazy <laughs> she uh, now has this habit when I come outside or even when I drive up uh, she doesn't really first thing come see me instead she goes running off over there and I'm quite sure it's her in protector mode and I love it she's uh, she's running over and getting here I'll show you she goes over towards that patch of woods it's between us and the road over there and past Lee's truck over there she goes over in that section and uh, she's chasing I don't have a clue what but she's always barking and running and I know that it's she's just gonna make sure that I'm safe and that nothing's gonna sneak up on me while I'm running or going out to the car and getting ready to leave so she's uh, she's doing her job she's a protector I'll have to check her leg a little later and see how she's doing you guys see that beautiful blue sky up there it's been a little cloudy today it's been not been perfectly clear but it's not been bad either it was pretty chilly this morning it's up to about 60 this afternoon but it's uh, looking much better a few days of no rain would be great but I just want to end the video here and just say again the Okie homesteading expo was wonderful Sonny and I loved it I want to say a huge thank you to uh, Dutch and Brandy of uh, keeping it Dutch and uh, just I mean they, they they did a great job and Kevin and Rachel from Hidden Heights Farm they just they did a great job on the expo it was wonderful there were some hiccups you're dealing with people of course there are going to be some hiccups but they handled the hiccups and they did well and everything I think went great it was the best one yet biggest one yet and uh, they did an awesome job and I want to thank them for the opportunity for me to help uh, I got to go and you know I showed you we set up everything and then at the end of it we tore everything down I didn't show that I don't think you guys would care much about us tearing it down but we we got a uh, everything set up we got everything torn down and it was you know there was a lot of lot more people helping tear it down so it went even faster of course I, I admit it's faster to tear things down than it is to put them up usually anyway because when you're putting them up trying to get them just right and when you're tearing them down you're just trying to get them out of there and get them in their spot and go and it's just it's quicker but uh, I'm telling you it was great but if you get the chance go over to Hidden Heights Farm go over to Keeping It Dutch Oh, and Brandy's channel, Count It All Joy. Uh, go watch those because they're really good. I really uh, envy Dutch and his creek property. I would love to go over there and see that creek. It is so clear. It's so gorgeous. But I want to thank them for uh, everything that they did for us while we were there. And uh, you guys, I'm telling you, go to the Okie Homesteading Expo next year. You will not regret it. But now, guys, I got to go get ready for church a little early tonight, and uh, I'll see you next time.